back here in the lab. Got the uh, VESE controller working quite well. Been doing some testing on the power stage and in order to properly test this power stage out, I needed to build a small dyno. I have a larger one, which I'll be using in later videos, but um, for now, I just needed something that I could use on the desktop. So I built this. This is a very difficult to drive motor. It's only about eight or nine micro henries of inductance and very low resistance. These I haven't measured. These are popular with the electric skateboard crowd. I, they were just what was available very quickly off of Amazon. Decided to 3D print some motor mounting plates and then just use some double-sided tape, strong double-sided tape, to stick them down to the table here. And right now we're running at 30 volts on here. Uh, added on a temperature sensor so I could get the VESC software to register the temperature when I'm viewing it. So now I have the MOSFET body temperature on here. So on the dyno, this little motor right here, what I've done is I've shorted all the phase leads together in order to create a load for this larger motor, which is my drive motor. The issue is this motor heats up quite a bit, but uh, it is a small motor being driven by a much larger motor. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me enough time to actually get these MOSFETs here up to temperature, which is what I was kind of hoping to do. So I definitely need to uh, upgrade to my larger dyno, but I need to rearrange this office in order to fit it because the motors are fairly large. It takes up quite a bit of space. Uh, no heat sinks on here. They're not needed at this point because I can't run it long enough. So right now we're running 30 volts. Um, it pulls about 30 amps from the battery side, so it's about 900 watts. So we're doing roughly about a horsepower driving this motor into this one. And here is the result. Uh, it actually starts up with no problem. I mean, that's under load and immediately whacking the throttle. I mean, and it also runs pretty smooth at low speeds. And right there, uh, looking at the VESC tool, in the bottom right hand corner there, you can see that it's drawing 14 amps. And as I increase it, you'll see the current go up. 40 amps of phase current. And it looks good. And uh, here is the sampled waveform right there. That is what it looks like running at low speed from the current sensors. That is without any filtering added onto the waveforms here. So these 200 amp current sensors are working fine. Uh, when I add the filtering on, it does, of course, smooth out quite a bit. Let's do a higher speed sample here. Oh, that looks a little wonky there. Oh, that's because of the mean filtering. Go back to FIR. So you can see the phase current was plus minus 20 amps. Let's see if I can zoom in on it there. There we go. So a pretty clean looking waveform on the way this motor runs. Haven't had any problems with it so far. Just wish I had a vehicle to put it in so I could drive around and play with it. 